Okay, in this application, I'm going to show you uh, how to use depth check to um, achieve a grade and uh, sustain that grade. And um, for this situation, um, we're going to be using laser. The difference about this task, or this application, is that um, unlike the other, the prior two tasks we've we've shown, I don't have a known uh, surface to touch with the tooth. I don't have a known grade to bench off of with the tooth. So, uh, just a little quick background on the on the job. This is a uh, imagine if this is a a building site that's um, I'm reading the drawings and um, the drawings are telling me that I need footings uh, scattered throughout the plot that are at 16 inches below base grade. We've been told where base grade is. We've set up our beacon at 60 inches above base grade. Um, I'm going to go into the machine and turn the um, laser on and that again is accomplished with the depth target screen. The number seven button turns the laser on. Now the other thing I have to do now is uh, establish my depth target. And I'm gonna set that at 76 inches, which I preloaded. And the reason it's 76 inches because the drawing calls out the footing, the bottom of the footings at 16 inches below base grade. I have my beacon set up at 60 inches above base grade. In this application, we will be benching off of the laser signal, the beacon signal, as opposed to the surface. And the system takes over after that and calculates and provides the distance from the laser beacon down to my bucket tooth. And so we'll be digging in the same fashion. Once I've benched off of my beacon, um, I'm done with the laser and depth check takes over after that and I follow the uh, guidance of the depth check just like you did on the past two examples. So I'm going to raise up, catch my beacon signal. I have a solid green light. We're using the BLR2. At that point, I'm going to reach down and bench. My machine is positioned. It's planted. My blade's down. I, don't, I will not move the machine after this point. Now, I will dig, much like we did before, a gentle peeling off the surface so that I don't uh, jar or move the machine. That throws the system off. I am starting to hear my, uh, my warning zone, which tells me I'm, I'm, pro I'm approaching my 16 inches of depth relative to base grade. So I'm gonna dig a little slower. And I'm continuing to strip, uh, careful not to uh, exceed my depth, ideally. Briefly, I hit target there, you could hear. And I'm going to try to make my final pass on this pass. I've got solid tone. trying to sustain solid tone all through my last pass and I'm pretty comfortable so now it's time to move and uh, of course I'll raise my blade I will back up to where I can still reach uh, my unfinished trench plant my machine blade down get myself stable now I need to rebench, so I need to catch my laser signal. So I'm going to go down and raise up slowly. I've got solid green light on the receiver. I will rebench. Just like the other applications, every move requires a rebench. And I continue the digging process. And so the, uh, what, what laser or what the laser addition does for me, is now I can uh, move all throughout this job site and I can dig uh, footings or pads at exactly the same depth even though I can't touch or reference off of those other pads and the fact that the, as long as I can receive my beacon signal so it's important to set up your beacon appropriate um, 
I can dig and match trench bottoms anywhere I can receive a beacon signal. So we've talked about uh, basically three different styles or applications of depth check today. Uh, minimum cover with depth check, sustaining a grade with depth check, and then we moved on to sustaining, actually achieving and sustaining a level grade with depth check and a laser. Uh, now a variation of that might be if the task calls for um, a slope in the trench and that would be for instance maybe um, installing a drain field septic system. Uh, now that's easy to do with a laser. Uh, all we would do instead of for our sustaining and uh, achieving and sustaining a grade with the laser what we just did, um, I had my slopes of course at zero. Um, if I wanted to sustain a 2% slope I simply dial that into my beacon and then depth check will follow that 2% slope as we continually bench away from the beacon.